You're watching Union TV 34. I'm Enzo Domingo with today's top stories. Now, police in Phillipsburg are trying to track down an alleged killer. And the music went silent for a few minutes tonight in Taboo in Asbury Park as patrons paid their respects to the victims of the shootings in Orlando. It's been a chilly, chilly afternoon, but it started out beautifully, didn't it, Enzo? I would say so, but tonight <laughs> seems a lot colder than I thought it would be. Now, is Ashton Kutcher going to put a ring on it? According to new reports, the answer is yes. Apparently, he likes it. Some University Heights residents are speaking out against a proposed apartment complex in their neighborhood. I am going to save up $150,000 so I can start that opening bid for Oprah's paintings and scooter. And there you go, the doors have finally opened. Now it may still be Thanksgiving Day, but that didn't seem to stop these early shoppers from coming in to beat the Black Friday rush. Well, Frank, this crowd here is very excited. They're on their feet, they're chanting his name, and the Democratic nominee will be speaking on that stage right behind me in hopefully just a few moments. We're taking a drive down Main Street here in Woodbridge towards our original spot in Perth Amboy. Now the roads have definitely been plowed, but they're still white because the snow continues to come down. Even before the first snowflakes fell on Friday night, cleanup crews have been preparing mentally and physically for this wintry challenge. They're expecting at least 2 million people out here, but right now we're a little under an hour before the parade starts and already up and down 6th Avenue there are thousands of people lined up behind the barricades waiting for the whole parade to kick off. Now I'm going to step out of the way and I'm going to have my cameraman pan over and you could take a look. I left this sink running, so it's been going for about 45 minutes now and the water is just as cold if not colder from when I first turned it on. Arguably the team's best player, Cristiano Ronaldo, left the game Portugal! early due to a knee injury. But clearly, the win was all they needed to pick their spirits right back up. Police in Rahway are searching for a suspect in a deadly shooting. And as Files 1's Enzo Domingo tells us, a hefty reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest. These are not street guys. Like they're not, they're not troublemakers in any way, shape, or form. Verbs Kent describes Jamal Molly Gaines, a man he considers a little brother. He tells us he was just on the phone with Gaines an hour before he heard the news of Gaines' death. The Union County Prosecutor's Office tells us police responded to the 1500 block of Irvington Street in Rahway around 9.15 Friday night. When they arrived, they found the 21-year-old with a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead shortly after. Loved ones could barely contain themselves on Friday night, and today, flowers and notes line the outside of the store that Gaines co-owned. If you have a heart and, and, and you care about what life means, you, 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 that type of news is never going to sit well with anybody. People that knew Gaines have been stopping by almost all afternoon, paying their respects to a man they all considered a friend. Those closest to him remember him with the fondest of memories. We were just laughing and joking. I actually just shot a music video. It was right here in this store. And, and he was one of the stars in the video. And it's like, to turn around and see this now, is, I don't even know what else I could say about it. His friends go on to say Gaines planned to start a nonprofit organization for underprivileged children. He was a young entrepreneur trying to, trying to make a difference in, in, in today's society. And it's sad to say that it had to end this way. The case is currently being investigated by the Union County Prosecutor, the Rahway Police Department, and the Union County Sheriff's Office. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Union County Prosecutor. The Union County Crime Stoppers are also offering a reward of up to $10,000 for any information leading to an arrest. In Rahway, Enzo Domingo, Fios One News. Two young Bronxites recovering now after being pulled out of the cold waters of Concrete Plant Park Thursday evening. News 12, the Bronx reporter Enzo Domingo at the firehouse of Ladder Company 54, the first fire company to respond to this chilly emergency. That's right, Maggie. It was two firefighters from this ladder company that jumped into that frozen water at Concrete Plant Park to pull a young boy and young girl back out to safety. Now, one of those firefighters is, was being treated at Jacoby Medical Center for exposure to that icy water, but the second firefighter was actually able to speak to us tonight. Chris Harkinish is all dried up now, but earlier Thursday afternoon, it was quick thinking and bravery that prompted him and fellow firefighter Kevin Hillman to plunge almost their entire bodies into a frozen lake in the Soundview section of the Bronx. They were very thankful, but I think more than anything, they were just happy to be off the ice and maybe a little, uh, little in shock. Around 4.30 Thursday afternoon, firefighters got the call for a young boy and girl trapped in the ice. Officials tell us the girl did fall into the water, but was able to pull herself back up while the boy was left stranded. And that's when firefighters donned exposure suits and climbed across the ice on top of a ladder. The boy and girl were taken to Jacoby Medical Center in stable condition because we're told they were showing signs of hypothermia. 
it was really lucky that somebody actually came in came in and saw them and saved them before it was too late. Firefighter Kevin Hillman was also taken to Jacoby because we were told he went into the water at least up to his neck. It makes me feel great. Uh, it really is. I have, I have two young girls at home. Uh, I can't imagine anything would happen to them. Uh, I'm glad that we're trained so well and we constantly drill on this stuff. You know, it makes you realize that uh, a lot of the reason why these men and women are called New York's Bravest is because of incidents like these. Unfortunately, we have no word as to why the boy and girl were out on the ice. And again, they, along with firefighter Kevin Hillman, were taken to Jacoby Medical Center to be treated. That's the latest from Soundview. Enzo Domingo, News 12, The Bronx. It began with a moment of silence, followed by the roar of motorcycles. More than one million people are celebrating at New York City's Gay Pride Parade and remembering the lives lost in the massacre at a gay nightclub in Orlando. Our Enzo Domingo has more from the parade route. Enzo? Well, all the way from Midtown Manhattan on 36th and 5th, down here to Greenwich Village on Greenwich Street and Christopher Street, the party goes on. Now, throughout the whole line, we saw various floats, some dedicated to the members of, of the LGBT community living with HIV and AIDS, and other floats dedicated to the victims of the Orlando shooting. Now, many that we spoke here today said that it's more than just a day of celebration. It's a day of togetherness. I go out, I, I do what I want, <laughs> as silly as it sounds, but no, it's, you, you can't live your life in fear. Today was a day for the LGBT community to proclaim loud and proud in the face of hate that they are who they are. Millions of people looked on and thousands more walked in the 46th annual Gay Pride March down 5th Avenue. We're out, you're not going to keep us down, and we're proud of who we are. It's just so great to be here with everybody. And being able to be proud of who I am. The theme of this year's parade is Unity Needs You, a much more poignant theme given the massacre in Orlando. Now before the parade, a moment of silence was observed for the 49 victims. A handful of groups even waved orange flags to represent the Orlando victims. While we're celebrating, we're also remembering um, you know, our friends and family that were taken from us in Orlando. So I think, you know, we, it's a great opportunity to celebrate our achievements and remember those that have gotten us to where we are. In response to Orlando, New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton said publicly that there would be extra security this year in the form of thousands of officers both marching along the route and plain clothes officers mixed in with the crowds in order to ensure everyone's safety. It's so important to make a stand here and, yeah, to show all the U.S., all the love we have. It's a good theme to like celebrate and like come together and stand up for, to the hate and everything that's going on right now. Now the parade ends here in Greenwich Village on Greenwich Street and Christopher Street, not too far away from the Stonewall Inn. Now the Stonewall Inn was the site of the Stonewall riots back in 1969, and this past Friday, President Obama actually declared the inn as the, uh, the latest national monument, the first one for the LGBT community. We're reporting in Greenwich Village. This is Enzo Domingo, Files One News. Now, I've said it before, and I will say it again. That Ohio guy who rescued those girls from that house of horrors deserved more than just some free burgers. U.S. soldiers serving in Afghanistan will be getting some love from back home this holiday season. Residents in a senior housing complex in the Bronx are left in the cold after a boiler breaks down yet again in their Union Avenue building. Let's start off this block with a check of our weather on the ones. And, uh, Joe, I know there's you, you mentioned earlier there's a bit of uh, incoming rain. Yeah, so what's happening now, we see a lot of rain in the middle.